Hi again, it's me, Lee with Victorian Dreams by Lee. So yeah, all right. So this is our last video that we're going to make on using Slimline uh, Sending Sympathy Card Kit from Anna Griffin. And look at the samples, they're beautiful, but I'm not using any samples. And I'm only going to do half the kit, 10 of them, which we've done five or six already because I bought the scrapbook uh, create that's in May, May 1st and 2nd through Anna Griffin and she's going to have 12 inch dies for scrapbooking and frames and specialty stuff just to start scrapbooking and I love scrapbooking more than cards so I want to save them to use the 9 inch from the 12 and have more dies to enjoy and use. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so let's get started again. And I'm sorry that yesterday, well, I'm kind of not sorry because I'm so giddy about it. But when your mom calls and wants to talk for a minute, even though it was about something she found on Google, um, you take her phone call and you enjoy it. She is going to be 79 or 80. Maybe she doesn't want me to tell you because I'm only 29. So if I'm 29, she might be, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say, I don't want you to figure it out. But anyway, you take her phone call. So I did and I enjoyed it. So, okay, let's do our next card. And this one's going to be purpley. <laughs> okay, so here's our base. And um, I used this die was <clears throat> from the jacket card set. And it's actually this right here. And that's what we're going to stick underneath there. I used that part. So we're going to glue it down. And we know, and it is boingy. <laughs> boingy is the word boingy. Okay, so we're going to tap that down with some glue. Let's do our old trick that I figured out from the video before. We know this is nine and a quarter, so we're going to set my ruler up and put that on the middle and I'm going to just tap it down with glue so it'll stay. I am going to put this all the way over with pop dots though so let me see where I need to glue to be safe and not be in any way. Okay. You know what? I think the glue might show up. So let's see if I can get my regular glue to work. I'm glad you're sitting with me. I don't really like to craft alone. And if I'm alone, I have the music playing. Let's see, uh, here we go. I'm kind of doing this a little backwards because I want it to stay in place. And since it was so wobbly, that's how we're going to do it this time. And that's okay. We can handle this. It's just paper. It's just a card. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Come on, glue. I'm glad this uh, dries clear. This is art glitter glue. I don't know why they have the word glitter in it. Maybe they started out using it to put glitter down. I don't like glitter. I have a little bit of it and I've used it maybe four times in four years. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm taking longer this way. I need a Xyron machine, don't I? 
for everyone hollering at me right now. Yeah, I need a Xyron machine for sure. It's only these little pieces I need to use the clear glue. The rest I can use um, a glue gun. So we can move the roller, ruler, ruler, ruler out of the way. And we can hit this with some glue because you won't see it. And it'll hold it down. There we go. The rest of it can be free. Okay. Just got a message from a sweet dear friend of mine. She is on Anna Griffin's design team. She just beeped. But I'll take her message in a little bit. I'll tell you what. When my brother was passing away, she was the blessing that I needed. I'll tell you. Whew, I'll never forget it. I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to cry. <laughs> but she was the blessing I needed in my life. And I think the Lord sent her only weeks prior. Maybe a couple of months. That was in October. Huh. Okay. So anyway, we're going to glue the pop dots to the card so that this will never come apart. Charlie, my glue gun, is hungry, so I need to give him a glue stick. Because once I put the glue pop dots down, they're already losing their sticky. What are y'all crafting on? Tell me what you're crafting on. Give me some ideas. Let's see. That's pretty. Let's just make sure it's squared. All that purple in one place so far. Look, isn't that nice? Okay, so we have some flowers right here. We have two butterflies that I made to go, and I'm wondering if I should use both. I think I should. It didn't have any greenery or anything? Huh. Let me get in my stash and add something, something, some gold to bring out that. I'm glad I pre-cut some stuff. At least that. I don't think that pink would go now. My clashes. Okay. So, once again, remember, we learned that we have to remember to go up and don't do everything like a regular card. You're in a little space. So I'm not going to use a sentiment until I absolutely need to because I think Forever Loved, uh, well, that is kind of sympathy. But I just think that um, you could use these for birthday cards and just put a different sentiment on there. But I'm going to put a sentiment there so that I can figure out. I like all my edges of the endings of my flowers or uh, leaves. I like them to be kind of covered up. You could cover it up with a bow. And I do have Anna Griffin bows. So if my sentiment is about here, say my sentiment is here, I want everything to kind of end up uh, starting and being able to be covered up right about here. And let's make sure it doesn't go off the card right at the edge and let's move it down just a hair not to cover too much of that butterfly up but I'm liking what I'm doing here and I'm freehanding or freestyling I'm not following anyone's style this time so I'm going rogue <laughs>
That's pretty. See, it's all intertwined. I could pop dot these, but um, I'm not going to go do that because I want to leave it a little bit flat. There is there is layers, there is movement, it is pop dotted. So yeah. So if I put the sentiment there, whichever type of sentiment I chose that matched, it would cover all the ends of those. So there we go. And everything. Now you could always start out and put everything down below and you put a sentiment up high. It's up to you. It's whatever you like. So let's add these butterflies and I am not going to crease them too much because they're pretty delicate. So let's just put it going off the card following that one and should it be coming up the card? I do want to use them both. I could put it down here. I got to pull it up and look. So if I put a sentiment, I got to make sure. I think I'm going to put one down below too, right here. Yep. You don't have to have a sentiment. All you have to do really is send a card and um, write what you want inside. You don't even have to have a sentiment. But I do like covering up all those little pieces um, like that. It does make it look a little more finished. So there you go. Let's do another card since I have them prepped. I don't even know what I have here. I'm going to do something with pinks, so let's do this one. <laughs> it's got some pink in it. At the end of the video, I will tell you what dyes I used for everything. Um, see, if I cut that in half, cut this in half, is it wide enough? Well, if I cut it in half and put it off to the side, it shows. See, I don't like showing just that edge. I like hiding that edge underneath that base. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to Oh, I don't have my ruler to eyeball it. So I'm going to put it right here before that glue. I can still feel that it's still warm. Ugh. But I, I think it's close enough. <laughs> so that's pretty because it pulls that gold. And see, here's the pink. If you want to just do pink and add just a pink something something, you could flip it over. But I really, really am, am enjoying these tags. And I'm thinking, do we have that cut to just do this side and make it a tag for inside a, uh, a scrapbook or a junk journal? I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying the tags. So let's just put some pop dots on here. They're already sticking to my finger, so I don't know. Let's do the test. Is it saggy? It's saggy right here for some reason. So we're going to add another one there. Everywhere else seems pretty good. Take all these off. Maybe I can make one more card after this. 
all my links are down below. I have um, Glue Gun Chronicles. <clears throat> and we don't use just glue gun in that group. It's just crafting. And I have Victorian Dreams blog on Facebook. Years ago, 10 years ago, they used to let you have a blog. So I'm happy that I have that. And I have, I have to get this straight, so let me quit talking. Ugh. And, yep, it's stuck. Okay. I have um, a Texas group called Lone Star Crafters. <clears throat> I don't want to cover a lot of that up, so I'm going to do this off to the side. Or do I do this one here? This one like that. And this one, let me see. Maybe that and that. Nope. Oh, here's a cross too. Well, I'm not sure. I need a cross because I don't know if this is going to be a sentiment, but look at the cross it would be really pretty and to do something like this. Oh my goodness, phone call. Hey, I am videotaping. Can I call you back in two seconds? Hi, baby Axel. I love you. I'll call you right back. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I think I am going to use that cross because it's just too pretty. I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to put this like the roses kind of, oh, those leaves are kind of big. The roses around it. Trying to get it to where I like about the roses, but the roses, I could cut some of the leaves, but there's a lot of leaves going on here. Maybe just do one. There's a lot going on. See, I even struggle. I'm taking too long for y'all. No. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm struggling on this. So let me look and see if the roses are just too big if I switch it to a different flower and get my head off of the roses. See, like these could be. Or maybe I only need one rose. Are these going the opposite direction? I'll be darned, they are. Even though I pre planned this. Put that like that that there and if, if you had to use a sentiment it would be here to hide the rest of the stuff yeah so let's do that so okay let's just put a little glue here and we're going to just put it right there line that up <clears throat> need a lot but I like that that was my grandson and daughter facetiming me they were in the car heading somewhere so that's pretty and I like this or does it need to be up a little 
I like that a little lower. Okay. Let's, and see when you put the sentiment right there, it does hide the ends of that. And that pink actually looks good, the forever loved sentiment right there. Or you can move the sentiment all the way over. Um, do we want to add, uh, I think this looks too birthday-ish for that. Let's see if we have, we have a gold leaf that I had made. Could we stick that in there? No, it takes away. Where was this one? Nope, I just like the two. See, I don't need a lot. Isn't that crazy? How I don't need a whole lot of uh, stuff. So, I'm pulling a green leaf. I'm pulling that green leaf. Let me look. Kind of another card. I really like those green leaves. I think I'm going to add it. I'm a busy person today. I never get phone calls. I don't have good service. And to be able to get a hold of me, you literally have to use. Um, this needs to be brought up. Or it dries. I just cracked it, but I'm going to still use it. It's got to be brought up for the sympathy, for the note of it. Okay. Thank goodness this is going to cover all that. So let's just cover that. So y'all are like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, that's how I feel too. Trust me. That's how I feel. So I'm going to put it off. Probably trying to center that sentiment. Was that a struggle <laughs> or was I just having too much going on? But isn't that pretty? That's nice. Okay. We didn't use those, so all that does is go back into our stash. And we have a lot of stash. So, here's those two. Aren't they beautiful? And I think I'm going to make one more real fast. I know this one's fast. I'm not going to do anything fancy. And we're going to be done with this kit until we get um, the new dies that are coming in that are 12 inches long. I, I'm assuming they're 12 inches long. So, yeah. So let me just put some glue here and let me try to hold it. I think that's about middle. And I'm not even going to glue it down anywhere else but there. Since I didn't use a lot, I'm going to do these bottom corners. Okay. Pop dot this real fast for y'all. Well, for me. <laughs> off. 
And um, I was saying what I had. See, that popped off so fast by me trying to peel the paper off the back. So that's why I like using a glue gun to stick it down really well. <clears throat> but anyway, what I was saying was all my links are down below. Um, I would really love if you were in my group. Um, or just follow me on my blog. So we're going to line this up to the edge. Put that there. That seems to be my seam. So hopefully when I get the new dies, I can put it down the middle and I can put this over because everything seems to be to the left. We're going to put this there. They're all the same color blues and creams. We need to go up because remember we can't do everything down here and this be blank up there. So let's do something like that. Let's make sure it stays on the card so it fits in the envelope. If your stems are too long or your uh, leaves are too much, you can always trim that off. The only one that's going to know is you. I made this die too. So let's put it there. end up like that. It has a lot of movement because I don't glue it all down so there's some movement and beautifulness going on. If we use the sentiment anything would work around here and it would cover those up but I'm not actually going to put a sentiment um, because this is sending healing hugs so you never know if I need one for a hospital stay or birthday party. I could just change it up. And this butterfly matches so beautifully that I'm going to put it I always go to the right put everything to the right. I just that's me. That's my mind. <laughs> and I'm going to put this right there. So isn't that pretty? So there you go guys, there are the three cards that we made and I'm so grateful that you set through this hot mess of mine <laughs> and all. So let me show you um, the heart, uh, the uh, cross came from this die set and it's two in a pack and it is called Icon cutouts and embossing folders and what else did we use uh, we use leaves which was foliage dies we use this right here which was called opulent borders and we use this, which was right here, which is called um, Fancy Edge Dies. And um, I think I already showed you that we use the uh, jacket card die for the purple. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I enjoy just getting alone to be with myself and not have any troubles in my head and just enjoy crafting. So I think these are beautiful. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed day. All my links are down below. Thank you, honey.